Hi folks, so another new car video. These are becoming embarrassingly frequent. Uh, I don't make a habit out of it normally. Uh, but we've got a new car to share with you. Uh, it's replaced the Clio and the Z4 in our household. So a bit of a road slash track car for us, something to enjoy on the B roads, uh, take me to the gym every day and, um, and to be enjoyed on the track as well. So um, here we go. So here it is, a M140i BMW, 2016, um, and done about 17,000 miles when I collected it a month or so back. So I'm going to hop inside now and um, bring you up to date. So the M140i, as I'm sure almost all of the people watching this video will know, is BMW's hot hatch. It has a 3 litre straight six with a single twin scroll turbo and makes about 340 horsepower. So it's quite a potent machine. Uh, I think they say it weighs about 14, 50 kilos, uh, but I'd be amazed if mine isn't about 1,500. Uh, the manufacturers are normally a little bit naughty with their weight. So ballpark 340 brake horsepower and 1,500 kilos. Um, and it goes bloody well for those numbers. So the obvious question, why did I go for a 140 over the other hot hatch offerings, uh, the likes of the Golf R, the Civic Type R, um, and my own little secret fancy, the uh, Hyundai, what is it, i30N Performance? I love those for some reason. Um, well, it's a fairly simple answer, really. The BMW is the only one that is rear wheel drive. Um, not so much for big, drifty, larry stuff. I just like the way rear-wheel drive feels. I love the sensation of driving a rear-wheel drive car. And of course, none of the others can do that. Regardless of what you do to them, how you modify them, none of the others can do that. So the starting point of a lovely six-cylinder engine at the front and rear-wheel drive made the, uh, made the 140 a fairly easy choice for me. But the other cars that I did consider, um, the one that was perhaps the most likely was the E92 M3. Um, when it comes to pure driving, I'm sure the, the M3 would far surpass this. Glorious, glorious engine. Um, and of course the chassis will be uh, much more talented than this, much sharper and for, for pure driving thrills it would, be, uh, it would certainly be a step up for this. But this car needs to do more than that and so we wanted a, we wanted a modern new car um, so I think the the last M3s of the previous generation are what 2012 2013 so they're cracking on a bit and um, to be brutally honest inside you can tell that you sit in one and compared to the current generation cars they feel uh, they feel um, a little bit older to add to that, the, the cost of running are a little bit scary, um, although I must admit depreciation needs to be offset against that, so perhaps there's not too much in that. Um, but I know the engines have a bit of a penchant for eating, eating bearings, 
um, and sub 20 miles per gallon would be a little bit painful in something like that. So, uh, so yeah, this one won through. Um, the other two that I sort of kidded myself into considering for short whiles were the F30 M5, um, which was a ludicrous idea. That would um, that would cripple me financially. Um, and the M2, which, in all honesty, we just couldn't afford. So uh, the M140 it was. So the exact car I bought this one. Uh, it's a 2016 car. Uh, it's just over 18 months old. Um, the reason we didn't go new was purely affordability. Uh, these cars lose lots of money in the first couple of years. So uh, we got in just after that and um, hopefully this represents good value. Uh, I know on PCP and stuff you can pick up some fabulous deals for, um, for a brand new car and the Shadow Edition looks spectacular next to this. But um, no, this was just right for us and hopefully delivers a lot of the things that we want um, for a little bit less money. So it's a relatively well spec car. I searched quite hard for something that had everything that we wanted. Um, and surprisingly, there's, there's not too many cars around that have everything. Um, my initial plan was uh, adaptive suspension as one of the, uh, one of the key things. Um, Harman Kardon and the Pro Nav and Media System were, they were must-haves for me. Uh, heated seats because uh, Aisha really likes that. Uh, parking sensors just because I've grown accustomed to using them. Anything else? Cruise control. Um, I think that's it for things that I really, really wanted. Um, automatic box was, was a given for me. That's the way that these modern cars are best enjoyed in my opinion. Um, colour and body shape, I wasn't really that bothered to be perfectly honest. Uh, this one's a, a three door and it's in black. Uh, and I quite like the black with the coral leather. Uh, I'm not sure if it shows in the uh, in the videos or not, but it's sort of a, a, a muted red. It's not a, an in-your-face colour and combined with the black, I think it looks really good. So in the end, we got everything that we wanted with the exception of the adaptive suspension. Um, finding something with all of those things was close to impossible. Um, at the right mileage and price. So we did without the adaptive suspension um, and got this car which is, in fact it's just just covered 19,000 miles uh, and we've done about 1,500 miles in it since we bought it. So on the topic of suspension, uh, first impressions and the passive suspension isn't really a highlight. Um, in fact the suspension and brakes they both feel like they're not quite up to the job of, um, of controlling a car with this sort of performance. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure why people drive these cars, buy these cars, and the first thing they do is add power. Um, I, I think its weakest areas are the, are the chassis. Um, so yeah, the passive suspension, it, it, in this car it's got a set of H&R lowering springs, um, and if I'm honest, it, it just doesn't work that well. Um, it's got plenty of grip, it's, in fact it's got lots of grip. Um, you can drive it quite quickly, uh, and it takes what you throw at it quite well, but it never feels planted. Uh, it never feels nailed down. You always feel like it, it's still trying to cope with bumps from 100 yards back. Um, so it, it doesn't inspire confidence, the, the suspension. Uh, the brakes just, I guess they're the same, they don't inspire confidence. Um, yeah, they don't feel that sharp. Top of the pedals doesn't really do anything. Um, and they just don't feel strong. So yeah, a couple of areas of weakness. Um, I alluded to it earlier, huge positive. It feels damn quick. <laughs> 340 horsepower. I guess it's never felt so quick. Um, it really does. I guess 340 is a lot of horsepower, um, but it really does punch quite well.
and also it's a very comfortable car. Um, I've <laughs> I've done a couple of long trips in it since we've had it, and um, yeah, just munches the miles really really well I guess you'd expect it to but then again it's a one series it's not a three or a five um, and yeah it feels perfectly comfortable really good so what are the plans for it uh, as I mentioned it, it's going to be a, a daily driver for me um, it will be enjoyed on the road and taken to the track occasionally um, I got my insurance sorted with six track days a year so that's available to me whenever I want it uh, and so it's going to be sort of home to do both as in pretty much the same way that the clear was I hope, hope not to compromise it in any way and make it worse at doing anything in favour of doing something else better um, but I hope to improve it in all aspects make it a more enjoyable road car um, and make it more usable on the track so a fairly brief introduction to the car I don't want to go into too much detail um, I'll be making some more videos with thoughts about the car plan on comparing it to the M4 and uh, covering both the plans for it and modifications as I do them. As a final point of note, um, I know there are a lot of people that do YouTube videos and social media with M140s, so I'll attempt not to, uh, perhaps with the exception of this video, attempt not to cover too much previously covered ground. Um, so I, I guess the uh, the one thing that I plan on doing, which perhaps isn't done too frequently by the, the other owners of these cars, uh, is take it to the track. Um, and the things I plan to do to the car, the way I plan to modify it, will hopefully be a little bit different uh, and perhaps a little bit more track focused. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, give us a subscribe. We're hoping to grow the channel. Uh, it doesn't come easily, as anyone that will uh, has done YouTube will know. So uh, yeah, if you are interested in following it, um, give us a subscribe and uh, comment below with any ideas you might have.